Okay, so if you go into Unit 3 Lesson 10 and click on the Code Print um, website, it'll bring you to this site right here. Um, so this is the AP Performance Task Code Print. Um, and we want to copy and paste our code into this space. So if you use Control A to select all of this, we can delete what's in that box. And then I'm going to go into my program and do a Control A and then a control C to copy it and then a control V to paste my code into here and it takes your code and then it actually color codes uh, the code for you which is really kind of nice comes in handy so you can see the difference between um, functions and variables and function calls that you have and parameters that are purple um, in your code you can change the font size, so if it's really long code, you can kind of shrink that up a little bit. Um, and then this allows us to draw some shapes. So if we look at um, inside of here, your written responses, this template is what you should be utilizing um, for, you're gonna basically create a PDF file and submit this to me, and this is gonna be the written responses for your stuff. Um, so down here it says capture and paste a program code segment that contains an abstraction you developed individually on your own marked with a rectangle. This abstraction must integrate mathematical and logical concepts. Explain how your abstraction helped manage the complexity of your program. So uh, I'm going to go into my program and I'm going to find a section that does that, that has abstraction and has mathematical concepts. And you know I have a lot of them that that work, um, that satisfy that, but I'm actually going to use this function um, called draw skyline. Um, it has a while loop in there uh, that uses um, math. You have, um, you know, an x coordinate that uh, adds a building width to it, and then you have a random number generated for building width uh, while it's in this while loop. So that's what I'm going to use for that. So I can draw a shape. Um, a rectangle around this and this is what this is for is I can click and drag and now that will um, be a rectangle for me I can clear it um, I can you know do multiple rectangles if I want and multiple ovals so again I'm gonna slide down here back to um, I draw a skyline and I'm going to highlight uh, this um, if I wanted to do another rectangle, um, and let's say I wanted to do my trees, because that's a pretty unique function as well, I can highlight over my draw, draw tree uh, function as well. So now you can see I have a red rectangle and a kind of magenta rectangle for that. Um, you can give it a project title. So you could call this, you know, U3 Lesson 10 Digital Scene. And then mine's a cityscape. So it puts this at the top. And so you can set the font and then you can hide the controls. And then once you hide the controls, you can then hit print and you can now print to a PDF. So you want to do a save as PDF and if you notice it's all color um, and it has your squares around your particular uh, functions that you want to highlight. Um, and then you can hit save and now that's going to save. Um, again I'm going to go save that in a folder that I created that is spring APCSP and inside of this this is going to be my U3 lesson 10 digital scene code. Now I should open that up. 
Um, if not, I can go in and open up my digital scene code. And now here is the PDF file that I can submit with my entire code. Okay, so this this now is utilized or can be used. I'm going to submit that um, and I can reference that now here. So I can just type in here again. This is view only. I need to make a copy of this. So I can do a file save or make a copy and then have that. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's what I've got. That's how I take my code and paste it into here. And then again, if you click Prettify, what that does is it actually indents um, your stuff. Mine I think was already done well. So it already, um, it was already pretty pretty at this point.